We're Chelsea Nalfons. We're traveling across all 48 states in our converted 2001 Chevy Express bus and are inviting you to join along for the adventure. Come along as we see barren deserts, high altitudes, and the occasional bus repair as we journey across America. Okay, so we're going to the Garden of the Gods, which is in Colorado Springs, and it has a lot of neat rock structures and things like that. Penny, she's whimpering because Chelsea isn't here. I accomplished a couple things. So the strap going across the shelf is that child proofing doesn't work. So we added some anchors there. And we added a couple anchors for the uh, trash can. Also, if you can see from here, there's a shiny piece of metal over there. And that's because we took the window out. And I'll show you all the inside and outside. So we used about 70 pop rivets plus a sealant called Lexel because I just didn't have the other kind. So seal that all nice and up. And as you go outside, Penny. And as you go outside, you get a better view of it. It's a piece of galvanized. We primed it with um, etching primer. And then this is just like a smoke gray color is the closest thing we could find to this paint color. So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got accomplished today. And then that's the piece it came off of. That's the old window. So we're hoping that at least one leak will finally be solved. So we're still in Colorado Springs and we stayed at my friends, Ryan and Annalisa's for a few nights. And then we went to the dentist and our teeth are all clean this morning. But unfortunately, Alphonse probably has to go get a root canal tomorrow morning because he's had pain in his tooth for what? How many weeks? About a week. Okay, so about a week. So we were gonna go to Rocky Mountain National Park tomorrow and we had all the plans. We had our nights of, you know, our places to stay booked. We had Penny booked at the daycare, but it's okay. Health comes first. So we'll just go to Rocky Mountain later after we get all the teeth settled. So right now we're at Bass Pro Shops. We're staying there tonight. We called ahead to make sure that they allow campers and they do as long as we park on the south side of the parking lot. And we'll just kind of hang out today and catch up on work and enjoy the Wi-Fi until we go into Never Never Land in the Rocky Mountains. So Penny and I are taking a walk this morning and look how pretty the view is behind me. Oh, the sun is going off those mountains. So we're making our way. We have the appointment, the dentist appointment at eight. Well, the endodontist appointment at eight. And they're gonna test Alphonse's tooth, see if he needs a root canal, and then do a root canal if needed. So, unfortunately, well actually, maybe fortunately, we were supposed to go to Rocky Mountain National Park today, but it was like, I think there was a lot of snow. So they might have even closed the park, I don't know. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise that this happened and we had to stay in Colorado Springs another day. So. I uh, went to the dentist, as you can see, numb. I uh, had to get a root canal because I had irreversible nerve inflammation something. Big word. Anyway, so they had to take the nerve out. It took like 45 minutes end to end. It was really fast. Uh, way better than my last experience. Chelsea was just kind of hanging out. Uh, now we're going to go get some breakfast, uh, which really is going to be iced coffee because no hot <laughs> things and oatmeal for something soft.
Colorado Music Hall of Fame right now. And we are at the Red Rocks Amphitheater. And apparently, John Denver's favorite venue to play at was Red Rocks. Here's a picture of the stage and then all the people. Look at all those people. He says here, Red Rocks is my favorite place to sing. If I had my way, I'd fly in audiences and do all the shows right here. Pretty cool. Do you know the song Rocky Mountain High? Mm -hmm. It says it's the Colorado Rocky Mountain High. I've seen it raining fire in the sky. Friends around the campfire and everybody's high. Rocky Mountain High. High doesn't rhyme with high. He cheated. Yeah. For you older folks out there, let me know in the comments if you know Kim Radio, the astronaut, Sigur Loaf, and Flash Cadillac. Ah, Glenn Miller! Someone I actually recognize. So we are here at the Red Rocks Amphitheater, or Park and Amphitheater, and uh, this was John Denver's favorite venue. As you can hear, I'm pretty out of breath because I'm not quite used to the altitude yet, and there's a whole bunch of stairs. We'll see you at the top. Still climbing, a lot more to go. Okay, time for a break. <sighs> and just when you think you make it, you got more stairs. Here it is. There's the amphitheater, goes up and up and up. And the stage, they're doing a lot of construction right now. You want some Maui Wowie frozen cocktails? Yeah, no thanks. Not in this cold weather. This is a brief interruption from the Chelsea and Alphonse news station, bringing you a very important announcement. We now have two ways that you can subscribe to our channel, and it is through Patreon. Thank you so much, YouTube. If you do not know what a Patreon is, we have two different subscriptions that you can join. The first subscription is only $5 a month and it is known as the Penny Size Special in honor of our 10 pound dachshund pup. The second one is a $15 a month special called the Snowy Mountain Size Special. For the $5 a month subscription, after your third payment, you get a sticker with our beautiful faces on it. It is our logo of our channel and you can put it anywhere that you want. Your water bottle, your laptop, your wallet, your keys, your phone, wherever you can stick something. The second $15 a month subscription plan after your third payment, you not only get a sticker, but you also get a coffee mug where you can drink your coffee, your tea, your milk, your water, whatever liquid of choice you would like to put in there. Because we know that you want to see our beautiful faces everywhere. So if you would like to join our Patreon, the link is on the screen and the description down below. If you do not want to subscribe to our Patreon, we would appreciate your support in any other way by subscribing to this video, liking it, commenting down below, or just telling us how much you love us. Thank you so much for this special announcement. Back to the show. You can do it, baby. We made it. Yeah, okay. All the way to the top. <sighs> you tired? Are you tired, Penny? <laughs> no. I think Penny's tired. No. Feet, the traffic circuit continue straight to stay on 19th Street. So we are at the Sherpa house thanks to the recommendation from our friend Reed and we had to parallel park Bluebell. Thankfully there was a pretty big spot. Today we're headed to Rocky Mountain National Park. 
We have our snowshoes, which actually have spikes. little like grabby spikes on them. We have our hiking poles. And it's actually sunny out today, which is crazy because they've had uh, crazy snow. So off we go. <laughs> Bus. We made it. Uh, right now we're just kind of in the parking lot, the visitor center. It's over in that direction. Uh, they did say some of the roads here are a little slippery. We're going to kind of just traverse, see how the bus handles. They gave us some like alternate trails if we can't make it to Bear Lake. We're a little more winded than usual because it is like better part of 9,000 feet up here. We also bring our oximeter. And yeah, we're about to go explore for a few hours and have a fun day. <laughs> We've got our poles, our snowshoes. We're ready to go. I almost fell over. Oh, <laughs> and we haven't even started the trail. Okay, first stop is Emerald Lake, which is 1.8 miles that way. Can you point that way? <laughs> All the way. Whoa. Look how deep it goes. Whoa. That's, that's the fresh snow. Yeah, the nice powdery stuff. Look how pretty. How far would you say we are, babe? 9,000 something. No, how far in that actual trail? Oh, for me. <laughs> and we have, I think it's 1.8 miles. <laughs> oh. So after trekking through that forest, we then get to this white area. We might go play in it. Yeah. Oh. Here we are at the top, and it goes down, down. Look at this view. Look at that snow. So right now, Alphonse is like roof height <laughs> to this little stand. So we should technically be like all the way down there. So here we are at Bear Lake, completely frozen and snowed over. And over there is actually a dock. So we are officially on the lake right now. Don't you dare. Well, thank you. So here's our thoughts on Rocky Mountain National Park. It's, uh, I mean, it's beautiful, right? Uh, elevate, it's definitely high elevation, so acclimate a bit before you do anything. Because it was, we got up to about 10,000 feet. Yeah, so Dream Lake is close to 10,000. The parking lot is 97, 98. Oh, like here? Mm. The other thought I had was everyone here has been nice. Like all the hikers are friendly. So nice. I wonder if it's because they're not working and they're all on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. Uh, so overall, I mean, it's amazing. It's just, it probably is twice as hard as you're expecting in the winter because you're, Yeah. It's at least if you have snowshoes because you're having to trudge with the shoes as well as the hike, uh, which is a lot harder than you would expect. Yeah, it's, it's like learning to walk again. Yeah. It's crazy. But if you go to Rocky Mountain in the winter, do not expect to see the beautiful 
Instagram lakes because they are all Frozen. iced over and snowed mm -hmm. over. They told us today that there was 72 inches, inches of snow, so six feet. So it's definitely worth it, especially if you're if you have a national park pass. If you don't, it's thirty dollars per car or per person. Uh, thirty per car. Okay, so thirty per car. Do not go alone. Bring your micro spikes. Bring your snowshoes. Just, bring your poles, just, and just be safe. And have a good time. And have a great time. <laughs>